What's going on guys, Festive here, and I know, I know, I'm a couple days late on this story, but I was just busy with things and I figured better late than never. Today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II Nazi Zombies. So on June 20th, we got a reveal trailer for the World War II Nazi Zombies, and let me just tell you, this looks awesome. I'm not a super huge Zombies player. I was a huge fan of Black Ops 1 Zombies, and I thought Black Ops 2 did a pretty good job as well. Black Ops 3, it was alright, but World War II looks so just really just dark. Like in Black Ops 3 we had a bubblegum machine and we were just kind of running around and in Infinite Warfare it was like at a carnival or something. But the zombies in World War 2 just look really really dark and I love that. I think that zombies should definitely be more dark and scary versus I like a carnival. Here's a couple of things that were announced and confirmed. I'm not going to go through everything however I will leave a link in the description if you want to view the full list. One of the things that was confirmed is Perks and Mystery Box will of course return. World War 2 zombies is not connected to another Call of Duty zombies game. Hardest easter egg hunt you've ever seen. <sighs> the backstory for the mode is based on a real story of finding stolen art during World War II. Men and women risk their lives to save works of art. And here's just kind of a little description of the zombies mission. Players will embark on a chilling, dark and mysterious journey through Middleburg, a snowy Bavarian village in Germany, as they attempt to recover priceless works of art stolen by the Axis powers in World War II. This village holds a secret key to an unimaginable and monstrous power, so visitors must be on their toes and beware of the twisted and occult horrors that guard these treasures. And basically the people that we play as in zombies are going to be like international art experts. And this just sounds awesome. Some people are complaining about it not being historically accurate, like they're not using the swastika for the Nazi logo, they're using something else. And the only way I could respond to that is... Well, it's zombies. We saw a trailer of hordes of zombies like roaming the streets of this like crazy doctor who created this like big bad monster zombie. This obviously isn't historically accurate. I do get what people are saying though. I just don't think it's that big of a deal. Also, while we're at it, if you pre-order World War II, you get an animated zombies weapon camo. And if you pre-order World War II at GameStop, you get an exclusive zombies poster. Not much, but I figured I'd go ahead and just just cover that real quick. By the way, there are some screenshots of the new Nazi zombies mode. And let me just say, this looks creepy as fuck. We have the first screenshot here. It's a zombie. I think this is the one that the doctor created. He has like the logo stitched, the little cross logo stitched into his chest. He's like all ripped open. Like he's just like stapled up. It's really just, it's just weird. Then we have this picture. Just, you know, a regular zombie with some barbed wire around his neck and then this this is what i like to see with zombies it's like yeah we have the regular zombies and then you know we might have like a boss or something that's like a big zombie and then there's this zombie his face is like burnt off and i mean it, it, it's a skeleton zombie and his jaw is being held together by like some metal zombies is <laughs> Zombies seems to be going in the right direction and i really love treyarch zombies so i'm like i'm a, I'm a little bit iffy on sledgehammer doing zombies but i mean i think it's fair to definitely give them a chance they're i mean they're doing some creepy shit anyways guys my name is festive and if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys next time